Me and my kids, we sleep in one room. Like I'm, this is a four bedroom home, and we sleep in one room because our house is just cold. My son was at the doctors. He had been admitted to hospital twice because he had a, he had asthma attacks. And once he got there and admitted, he didn't want to come home. I don't blame him. The hospital's warmer. He was off school. He was taking days off school at the doctors. Maybe three, four times a week. A couple of times I had taken him, his chest had sunken in. If you do have recurrent pneumonias, chest infections as a child, you are at high risk of permanent lung damage. Kids can compensate and compensate and compensate, but it's if they get too tired and they stop breathing, that's when things go really bad. It's a case where there's a solo parent, um, They've often carrying other kids with them and bringing them into hospital as well, even though they might not necessarily be sick. When one of us gets sick, we all get sick because we're all living in the same room, sleeping in the same room, in the same gym. She gets the flu, we all get the flu. Well, I pay $98 here, and if I was to go get a same, say, four-bedroom home privately, it would be anywhere between three fifty four hundred. dollars I got told that it wasn't an option, that um, my needs weren't like a priority, so we're still stuck here. Personally, I don't see my kids having a, like, not a good future, but a healthy one because of the way we're living. I don't know, the government now doesn't seem to care or doesn't show that they care about, not so much families, but kids and how their future's gonna be.